So uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a different interview today, boys. We are uh, currently backstage at the uh, Slaughter to Prevail show. Mr. Alex the Terrible was kind enough to join us. We just saw him doing some pads a little bit ago with uh, his trainer, Mr. Jake Brutal Boswick, a BKFC staple. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Jake Boswick. Alex, what's going on? Why are we hitting pads? Why are we talking about bare knuckle? What's going on right now, bro? I have no f***ing clue. <laughs> it's just my new passion. I mean, uh, I found myself in the gym, in the boxing gym, and I was like, what the hell am I doing? And I need some purpose, you know? I just, I trained for myself, and I was like, why, for what? I need some goal in this kind of sport, you know? And I was like, okay not boxing because they will destroy me <laughs> and uh what else mma they will destroy me fucking kickboxing they will fucking need me <laughs> bare knuckle because i was fighting in the streets and it's kind of similar sometimes you know and everybody has a chance i believe with a bare knuckle because i believe it's different so i was like bare knuckle let's go so yeah, bare knuckle, right? I know, I know there's a bit of a history. I've seen some things overseas. Like, what do you know about it? Because I've seen some, some crazy stuff. I've seen like in Russia, there's an organization where they're like, there's hay bales stacked and they're, yeah. they're dressed up in like t-shirts and pants and fighting yeah. bare knuckle. And I've also seen, um, oh my God, what's the other one? King of the Streets, right? Oh, King of the Streets is f***ing insane Apes, right animals <laughs> insane I, I respect that i respect that because uh it's just about fights it's just because uh i don't know how to explain that but i believe not even man but woman has this inside of you as well sometimes you know and you just adrenaline addicted or some shit. and sometimes people just do crazy shit like fucking kings of the streets because it's not sport it's not sport at all you know it's just real real thing you know they fucking uh uh put the, the fingers in the eye in the eyes uh, fucking bite these uh ears and stuff it's just a fight you know and i respect that but i would not do that you know because i, I love myself you know? <laughs> it's a levels you know it's yeah. levels i'm not on this level but um yeah the question is what like what was the question sorry oh i just oh, wanted is... to know what originally yeah, got yeah, you into yeah it. yeah okay so uh, you're talking about the russian organizations uh the bare knuckles organization so definitely in russia we have a lot of good fighters uh bare knuckle fighters and uh i have a lot of friends who fights in the kind of organizations you know and for me it was a challenge every time because i'm just a musician you know i'm not a fighter i'm not a sportsman or some shit, but i'm just a regular dude who uh grow up in the streets you call it in the hood or you know because in, in russia if you grow up in village it, it is a hood you know what i mean and everybody fights <laughs> so it's just the basic thing in russia and every time i was afraid to fight you know and it, it was a challenge for me and uh, every time I learn how to fight, I learn it more and more and more. And then I see people make money on this shit. I was like, what the fuck? I have fucking followers. I want to make money. I want to fight as well, you know? And then I found the uh, boxing gym. I found myself in this fucking boxing and uh, new passion. And I start to think about it more seriously, you know? And I was like, okay, I want to sh shoot my shot. Yeah, with the Bare Knuckle FC because this is the biggest organization in the world, you know. And I was like, okay, and they pay attention for me. I was like, okay, it works. <laughs> Good. And right now we have connection and I believe my fight is going to be like in December or some shit. We don't know opponent yet, but uh, I heard about uh, one name, uh, Bryce, Bryce Hall. Yeah, I, I really don't care who is going to be. I just want to fight and I have nothing to lose because I'm musicians, you know, if they put uh, me in the, against the fighter and if I knock him out, good. If he knocked me out, I don't fucking care. I just want to put a good fight, you know, and show what I have in my heart, you know, that's it. I think for me personally, like that's the best part about fighting is because it doesn't matter your background, like you could be a TikToker. And then you could be 
a singer listen, in a band. Listen, I respect all, uh, like, uh, man or woman, doesn't care. Uh, if they put themselves in these conditions uh, where they where they have to fight themselves, you know, against their fears. So if you TikTok fucking blogger or some shit, but you step out of the ring or the cage, I already respect that, you know. And that means you already fought yourself, fought your fears, you know. And then it's about skills, it's about fortune, it's about in everything you know and i already respect that so i really believe especially with the bare knuckles everybody has this chance you know so i'm not that guy who's gonna say hey i'm gonna fucking smash your face i will break your face i will break your face i want to break your face you know but who knows you know i just want to fight <laughs> is there any part of you that worries about the scarification opening up like nah. do you think but everybody, everybody Listen, guys, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so you don't know shit. Like everybody says about CTI or CT, CTE, CTE, yeah. CTE fucking dump shit. Like scar, oh, you're gonna fucking open your scar and all this shit. I already fought with this scar. Nothing yet, you know? And uh, what about CTE? I'm not a fighter. I'm not get these punches every fucking time. You fighters get these punches every fucking time. You have to worry about fucking CTE, not me. You know, <laughs> I'm a musician. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's probably the best answer I could ask for. But I, I do want to know, like, what what gets you out of bed in the morning? Like you said, you look for challenges. You want to fight bare knuckle. You go out. You do these crazy things in life. What what gets you up in the morning? Uh, money. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> But uh, being serious, uh, I almost died when I was 19 years old because of the drugs. Do not recommend any drugs. And from then, I start to feel myself, I'm wasting my life, do nothing, you know. So I start to do something. And I really want to die with a clear heart. And I want to achieve something in this life, you know. So even with these challenges, with music, with fights, with fucking business, with the good things I can uh, share with people, help people, all this, all this stuff, you know. I really want to pay attention and focus on this stuff. And then I can die with clear heart, you know. So for me, it's the motivation. So, I mean, it's one thing to get on stage and, and you know, sing and scream in front of 20,000 people. Yeah. But if you have somebody sitting across from you on stage at a Bare Knuckle FC press conference and they're talking shit to you, are you going to be quick-witted enough to come back at them? Back in the days, I would smash his face, like, immediately. But not now. Because I grew up, I understand this is a big business. It's different, you know, it's nothing personal. And right now, I stay calm, whatever I want. You know, back in the days, I was driving, somebody cut me out or some shit. I was like, let's fight, what the fuck? <laughs> it's stupid, it's, it's just stupid because you, like, um, you um, wasting your nerve system for nothing, you know? And you trying to be a tough guy for what? Somebody just fucking stab you or kill you with the shot or fucking break your face, break your jaw, and I cannot sing for what, you know? Prove yourself. Prove yourself in the fucking ring with the gloves and fucking uh, protecting fucking stuff with your head and all this shit. If you want to like uh, challenge between uh, this man and you, you know. But right now, I understand this is a game. Everybody talks shit, uh, and it's different if if it's just the like a fucking pre press conference you said yeah, yeah? press conference you, you understand all of these rules but if you uh like come up to me in real life and start to talk shit, of course i would react immediately you know what i mean so i don't i don't know and e every time i say uh it's a levels of talking shit, you know it's about respect so uh if you start to talk shit about me yeah, it's okay, I can eat it, you know. But if you start to talk shit about my family, for example, you immediately uh, doesn't exist for me in this life. I don't respect you. I, I still want to fight you, I still would fight you, blah, 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 but I not respect you like a, a person, you know. You not exist for me. That's it. So the tour ends in a couple months? 
Um, September 22, I believe. So uh, September 22, we fly back to Florida, uh, which is my home. And uh, I s keep a uh, train uh, for a few months or so, then cut weights, prepare, get rest a little bit, and then fight. Hopefully it's gonna be a good fight. I'm I'm so re so realistically, before the end of the year, December, right? Yes, 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 sir. Bare Knuckle FC, listen, you got my money. I'll be tuning in. I also got to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Jake Brutal Basso. Get in here for a second, brother. Get in here. <laughs> Jump. This is uh, this is the man that's doing the training behind uh, the guy we're gonna see in the ring in a couple you know a couple of months here. <clears throat> yeah, no, honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure being on tour with with, uh, with obviously Alex and the team. Um, yeah, Alex is really putting the work in. You know, he's really like trying. He's you know he's studying. He's really putting the work in. And he's I'm lying. I'm shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's absolute garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. Nah, nah, nah. He's definitely grafting, mate. You know, and uh, I'm super excited to see him like display something for sure. So yeah, man. It's yeah, it's been super fun. I'm glad we got to catch he's you. He's supposed to be my. Uh, Opponent, right? Yeah, yeah. Originally, <laughs> originally, he was. He originally, yeah, I made a post about you guys sort of facing each other, and look, yeah. here we are, right? It's crazy. I know. Now, I see his post because a lot of people ask me. So, obviously, he made a post about he was going on tour. Obviously, is there anyone that can, you know, come away, personal train, blah, blah, blah. And I was in Puerto Rico at the time with Jake when I saw that. So, I was like, oh, fuck, you know. But then, um, yeah, I reached out and was like, yo, I'll come jump on tour with you, son. You know, and then now we're here, bruv. Now we're in Canada and we've still got like a month left of training. And yeah, mate, it's been a pleasure. Sick. Any final message for the people that watch Bare Knuckle FC, for the people that follow you, your band? What do you got to tell, what do you got to say to them before you jump in the ring in, the, in December? Um, get ready, get ready, prepare your money. <laughs> Pay attention because I'm fing ready yeah. and I'm so fing excited. Check. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah.